Hello and welcome to the 5 Minute Gospel Podcast for Sunday the 4th of July, the 14th Sunday of the year. Today Mark takes us with Jesus as he visits Nazareth, his hometown. Jesus grew up and spent the first 30 years of his life in this town and he lived an ordinary life there with Mary and Joseph. Jesus began to teach in the synagogue on a Saturday. The whole town probably gathered to listen to this local man whose fame had spread throughout Galilee. At first, most of the people were astonished by his words. But then they seemed to change their attitude and said, Where did the man get all this? What is the wisdom that has been granted to him and these miracles that are worked through him? This is the carpenter, surely, the son of Mary. They spoke as if they were offended that the carpenter would have the cheek to teach them. In the end they did not accept him. And Jesus said, A prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations, and in his own house. Jesus was just too ordinary for the people of Nazareth. They refused to see anything more than an ordinary man who'd grown up in their town. This meant that they were blind to the very reason Jesus came into our world as a human person. We cannot see God and we cannot see the love of God. In Jesus, however, God's love became something that could be seen. Jesus showed us this love in his life, his teachings, his healings, and above all, in his suffering, death and resurrection. Pope Francis speaks of the Incarnation, Jesus becoming human, as the unsettling event of a God-made flesh who thinks with the mind of a man, works and acts with the hands of a man, loves with a human heart, a God who struggles, eats and sleeps like one of us. Jesus came as an ordinary human person to help us see in him the love of God which we cannot see. The people of Nazareth refused to see more in the ordinary Jesus. As Jesus followers today, you and I need to make sure that we do see more in the ordinary. The seven sacraments are an ongoing lesson for us in seeing more in ordinary things. We use ordinary things we can see in the sacraments to show us things we cannot see. Those ordinary things, bread, wine, water, oil and touch, show us things we cannot see. Seeing more in the ordinary means seeing the loving presence of God, not just in the sacraments, but in all the ordinary people, places and experiences of our daily lives. A great practice is to stop at the end of each day, look back over the past day and ask ourselves, Where was God in my life today? Where was God in my life today? Go through the day and see the good things that happened. Look at what you did, the people you met, the friendly chat, the unexpected thank you, or a kind smile from someone, or someone you smiled at. Pay attention to the little things, a nice meal, a great sunrise, and any other things that made you happy, pleasures. These are all signs of God's presence. Thank God for them every day. Spend a little time then seeing what was not so good about the day, perhaps some fault or failing on your own part or sin, and ask God's forgiveness. Then, finally, ask God's help to see his presence in the day that will come. May we always see Jesus' presence in the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, but also may we always see God's presence in all the people, events and experiences of our daily lives. Lord Jesus, help me to see more in the ordinary. Help me to see more in the ordinary every day. 
God bless you all.